Hi everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to solve lead code 41, first missing positive. This question has been previously asked in Google, Amazon, Apple, and Facebook interviews. If you are interested in practicing more lead code questions, here are some of the videos that you might be interested in. You are given an unsorted integer array nums, and you have to return the smallest missing positive integer. In this example, we have zero, we have one, and we have two, so the smallest missing integer is three. Now in this example, we have minus one, we don't have zero, but zero is not considered as positive or negative, so uh, we have one, and then we don't have two, so two is the smallest missing positive integer. In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six missing, but since one is the smallest, that is the answer. Okay, so let's say for example, this is our input array. Now the first thing we want to do is to sort the array. Arrays.sort nums, okay? So from this function, we received this sorted array. But if you remember, we're looking for the smallest missing positive integer. So we can skip through anything that is negative or zero. So basically, this is the point where we start caring about the values. So let's write the code for that. Let's say for integer number in nums, if number is greater than zero, all right? Now that should bring us up to this point. Okay, now let's assume that missing number is one. So let's go ahead and write the code for that. We'll say int missing number equal to one. Now we're gonna verify if the missing number is really missing or does it exist in our array. So let's say if number equal to equal to missing number. So if we found that number in our array, that means our assumption is wrong. So we can make a new assumption that missing number is maybe two. So let's do missing number plus plus. Now our missing number is no longer one. We incremented that. So now the missing number is two. And of course the for loop would go ahead and read the next number. So number is now equal to three. Now in this case, our missing number is less than the number. So we may have found the smallest missing positive integer. So we'll just say else if number is greater than missing number, then we're just gonna break the loop. At the end, we simply wanna return the missing number. Return missing number. Okay, now let's go ahead and submit our code. If you are finding these videos helpful, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. If you have any question, leave it in the comments below. See you next time.